Yes, everybody, at long last, we are at the moon base. The x not moon base, that is. And this is the exact same uh, wi windows that um, that was in that first that was in the first peach segment that they you know showed us they were going around the base that let us knew this place is on the moon. Hang on, did I just kick these guys ass? <laughs> How do I get their health back that fast anyway? All right, let's just take them out. All right, that was a nice move. You want to kill each and every x mot in this pace. You gotta do it. If you had to do it back in Great Tree, then you gotta do it here. Bullshitting star! Anyway, the music here, it's pretty kick-ass. I mean, really. You cannot cut out of this dungeon and say the music does not kick-ass. The stream looks like it was meant to source something. It's booby chats, I think. Not to totally change the subject or anything, but how's your memory, Mario? If you have trouble recalling the full path, you ought to maybe leave and re-enter. Whatever. Oh, dear me. There's uh, quite a few items here. I don't want this couple's cake. Goodbye. I said goodbye! How many times do I gotta say it? Goodbye. Huh! <laughs> You're supposed to come this way, but I totally jumped that fake floor panel. Because I couldn't actually remember the path. Matter of fact, I think Tex showed this room. This is the fortress corridor. An elevator connects it to the lower floors. I guess this fortress extends pretty far beneath the surface of the moon, huh? I mean, I hate Gratis, but I gotta give him some props for a pretty cool evil hideout. Yeah, so do I. This is a pretty nice place. I'm just, uh, saying what she says about these rooms. This is the X-Not Fortress. This seems to be the only way in or out. The stars look really nice through these windows, but I guess now's not the time. Alright, but what does she say for, uh, this outside area? Who knew there'd be such a weird building on the moon? It's kind of crazy, actually. I mean, it's got a big glass zone to keep all the air from leaking out. What's that? Yeah, now that you mention it, I guess we were okay out there with no air to breathe. Yeah, I'd rather not think about that too much, I guess. Let's change the subject. <laughs> yeah, who, who tried to who figure all that out? Who, who can possibly figure all that out anyway? I mean, really. So we have a uh, first dungeon key. We're going to open this door. Or this elevator, anyway. I choose sub-level one. I mean, no, wait. Sub-level, which one? Okay, we want to go to sub-level two first. Because, uh, there's actually... The thing, there's some things you need, like a dungeon key and some else on sub-level two. That are, are, that are used in sub-level one, so yeah. Oh, this is a level... A level two x not Or x not PhD. Not very strong, but they have potions that can do wonders. That's an excellent PhD. Guys like this invent all the annoying things we fight. <laughs> like to throw beakers and chemicals. The chemicals do all kinds of stuff, like making things huge or burning people. He may also use wounds to heal himself, or make himself impossible to hit. Excellent PhDs are really annoying, so take them out before they boost themselves. Well, that's nice. I only need to refill one little hit. <laughs> what a waste. That 
that was a mini potion. That it, it will shrink you, so be careful. How many points do these guys give you? Alright, they give you five points. Another room, huh? This room looks like it was meant to store something. It's booby traps, I think. If you want, if you want to off the correct path, looks like he'll take damage, don't you think? Rooms like this always have a hit, though. It's like a law. See anything like that? Yeah, back there. That picture is, will tell you where to go. Also, if you look close enough, the the panels they can stand on are slightly darker than the ones you can't stand on. If you look close enough. Um, I'm not gonna use that stopwatch. I SAID I'M NOT GONNA USE YOU, SO GO AWAY! I SAID GET LOST! Oh god. Can we find it? Yeah, great turn chest. It's a dungeon key. This music is really neat, seriously. Who would possibly hate this music? Hey, it's the potion room! From before! <laughs> now you have a guard, huh? <laughs> Alright, take this! Perfect. I have some stuff to do, so I'm not coming into work tomorrow, and that's that. Keep the workspace orderly. <gasps> yeah, what if I don't? <laughs> Whatever, I can't. Just wait anyway. This a new seminar topic. Galloping toward an era of risk-free potions. Participation is not voluntary. <laughs> When leaving the lab, always see your all-point inspection in the loudest voice possible. <laughs> I really like this dungeon, too. Oh, boy! The Uxes. Oh, boy! Oh, this room. This looks like some kind of teleporter. Who knows where that thing will send us? Maybe that's what the Exonauts used to go between the moon and the Earth. I think we have to switch it on and then stay on the platform to use it. Yeah, obviously. Matter of fact, I forgot to do the. I forgot to, um. get a description of that potion room, so I'm gonna go back here and get the description, I guess. This cross this lab. He must have his researchers work on various potions here. I don't think we should touch any of this stuff, though. One wrong move and. KABOOM! You know, know what I mean? <laughs> I know what you mean, alright. Then. Yeah, yeah. Listen to me, easy enough. Yeah. Ah. That thing's not doing any damage whatsoever, is it? Brilliant. Just brilliant. Oh, this room. This looks like a lab for genetic experimentation. Maybe yucks were made here. I guess they must have some pretty advanced technology if they could do stuff like that. Hey, by the way, Mario, you see up there? One of the ceiling panels is loose. Don't you have some super move or something that can get us up there? Mean like my spring jump? Clearly. So yeah, this is the uh, room where all the robots were made, I guess. Well, as far as the small robots like the Yuxes go, that's where they were made. 
We want to take care of the Uxes first because they're really annoying. Now him. 